good morning, good morning, my faith, my faithful viewers. This is FYI Sahara YouTube. And I'm going to welcome you back to another day of trading on the foreign exchange. Take a moment to view this and visualize where you want to go after you've done your trading and you want to um, go away someplace beautiful. And you can think of many places. This, these places, this looks fine to me. I can see myself in a little boat or scuba diving in this little uh, cove right now. But first, we're going to go to the wonderful world of trading. And trading does put you in touch with the larger world around you. Sorry, I didn't mean to have the camera on. That's a big problem I have. I get I get busy doing things and I forget that I have the camera on and off. Um, I want to pick out some. Uh, the, I want to pick out some recommended uh, currencies. So we can look at what the other the consensus is among uh, banks and traders. And what is it? What is it? What different currencies are interested in? And we're going to pick some out and see if we agree. I want to look at the uh, U.S. Canadian, and I'll tell you why. If you go over and Google the Dow Jones uh, Industrial Average, you'll get a feeling for what's happening with the U.S. dollar today on. Uh, May the 27th, you're going to see that uh, it's going up. It's going up quite rapidly. So we're going to expect the U.S. dollar to be strong. So let's look at some of the pairs. Here is the, U the U.S. yen and the uh, consensus or the uh, triggers say, the signals say to uh, sell the yen. As I mentioned earlier, that the pair at the beginning of the pair that is going up or down will show the direction of the currency. For instance, if the U.S. yen is going up, you're going to see the U.S. on the front of the pair uh, as stronger and leading the pair up. If it's on the back of the pair, and I think there's only one like that, um, where you see the U.S. at the, at the back of the pair, uh, you and when the U.S. dollar is going down, you'll see the pair uh, actually headed down. When you look at the graph, it'll be all squiggly down like that. So this is rather concerning. This is saying to sell this pair, but we've seen that the U.S. dollar is going up. I wanted to look so. We're going to skip that right now. You've got to go through. There's so many to go through. You can spend all day looking at them, but it can be fun. Now, this is this kind of. Here, the U.S. Canadian is a buy. OK. And we might, we might want to look at that U.S. Canadian because um, that's kind of going along with what we're seeing in the stock market. So let's go over to the U.S. Canadian pair and see what's what they're doing. Okay, we're looking at the um, U.S. Canadian once again. The um, the trend overall is up, but now might not be the time to buy, as you see that uh, yesterday and today. This, this currency is going down. Let's look at one of my most favorite indicators, and that, uh, let's, it's the um, MACD. I 
it's not showing up very good on on let me see if i can make it stand out a little bit more it's not showing up good on the camera but you're gonna see that the little red uh markers are they're down and they're uh the red line is going under the uh midline of the macd and you really want to see green you only be seeing green okay the uh this could you're gonna see some indicators like that increasing in size and most of all you want to see the blue line if it shows up uh down here you want to see that turning up that's not happening here so we might go off looking for another pair but before before we uh move off of the pair i want to look at some of the lower time split slots the four hour one of my favorites no it's going down i'm so too bad let's let's go off and find another another uh pair to look at there's nothing co hopeful here with this big dive right here, which can mean a lot of things, but let's not analyze right now, but we want something that agrees with the stock market. Okay, here we have, uh, I thought I'd look at the Euro US, the most popular, most traded pair. Um, and they're saying to sell. It's interesting that if, this, this could be the case. Now, if you're dyslexic, you might have a problem with this visualization. Uh, and so don't strain over it. But in the Euro US, we've seen that the US market is strong today, which means on the, on the backside of a pair that uh, the Euro would be pushed down into a downward position. If the Euro were strong over the US, it'd be going up. Now, if you can't visualize that, uh, it's okay. It, it just, it, actually the foreign exchange is, it's nice because it is so visual. But if you're, like I said, dyslexic, that kind of, that kind of visualization is difficult, but we're going to look at it to sell. So this is one big picture. This is the pair and this is the history overall down on a very gradual slope. And this is, yeah, I said this is a week. Let's look at the daily and the uh, four hour. So here you see um, the, the trend lines. This was the uh, weekly and monthly. This is the uh, daily. And you can see that uh, is not going it's not going down it's going up from the uh daily chart and uh it's rising above the uh large time frame uh picture so let's look at the macd it's a little hard to get into the onto the time frame but you're going to see when you see the uh, little green lines above the meridian that it's going up and you see as well the uh bl bl the blue line of the pair is uh going up so this currency at least for now is going up so this is a four hour and this looks like we're gonna pass this one by two because the uh technical si signals said to sell the overall trend said to sell but we're seeing the uh, pair go up. And this is a, if, if I were depending on these indices, the overall trend and the uh, signals, I would buy this because when you're on the four hour and you see the, let me move this a little bit for you. When you see the, uh, MACD is going up. It's going up quite handily. Uh, and so everything says to buy on this. The overall trend line on the four hours up. The But the uh, overall trend for the pair is 
down. And then also the signal said it's going down. So you don't want to be uh, swimming, swimming upstream, especially when it's your money. Let's go find another pair. So maybe you can help me pick out a pair to look at. We want the U.S. dollar to be going up. And the U.S. dollar, I mean, yeah, the dollar is going up, as we can see on the stock exchange. So we want something to agree with that. Um, so let's see. Now, on a pair like the uh, Australian U.S., um, when the U.S. dollar is on the back end of the pair, it means the U.S. dollar is going down with the uh, Australian U.S. So let's go look at the uh, pair on the um, charts. Right now, I'm kind of liking the Australian U.S. because it has a really steady incline for buying. And when I look down at the, uh, let me see if I can make this a little bigger. When I look down to MACD, I'm seeing that the uh, overall trend for the MACD is going down. So I want to wait a little bit because while it's showing this nice arch up, it's not until we get down to the two hour and the one hour and it's turning up, do we want to buy? We have a very positive sign on the two hour with the, uh, first of all, the the MACD is above the midline and you can see that these these uh, red indicators are getting smaller and smaller and this blue line is wanting to arch up. It's almost a buy. Let's go look down at the one hour. And please note that the decision has been made to buy off the overall long trend trend lines that it does show an upward trend overall and so we're looking at the one hour the one hour is not a place to make your decision to buy we've made the decision we want to find a good place to put the order in because look at this you can see that this is just just about to go above and get my pointer on there my pointer got lost <laughs> Okay, you can see that the uh, blue line is just peeking up over the red line. And the, uh, these, hopefully, the um, upper half of the midline is going to turn green, as you can see. And we're going to start seeing little, little green uh, indices that are going to say it's going up. And, of course, when you look at the, the visual of the uh, pair, it's going up. So let's try to figure out a good place to pit, place a uh, order, if not a buy. On the uh, 15 minute, by the way, you've made your decision back on the uh, daily and four hour chart. Don't make a decision of direction off of the smaller charts, but you're going to see that here, the everything's in the uh green above the line the midline so it's good to, you can turn in the order here but it would be really advantageous to turn in a order to buy right around uh six five eight four i hope you can see it okay so let's go turn in the order for point six five eight four You're going to see on this trading station, you can click order or trade. So we're going to click order and we want to buy. So we'll put the uh, buy here. We're going to buy one lot and go down to put our amount in.
Okay, we just turned in the order for 6584. If you wanted to buy it outright, it would be okay. You wouldn't really be out that much because a pair can take off at any moment and you might miss your chance to buy. But I think it's best to look for um, a clearer upward trend, even in this smaller time frame, we're seeing a, a little bit red, it's going to turn up and down. And uh, so we want to kind of hang out with that. We want to see something clear. But this is a clear, um, it looks good to buy. You see, when you look at the candles, you're looking at the way they're forming. And this is a buy, and this is a sell. But if the uh, candle is opening at the very top of the, of here, if it, if it opened here, it would be going down. If it opens up here on the top side of the uh, green candle, you've got more of a chance that it's going up. And uh, on the 30 minute, let's look at the 30 minute again. And this looks very, very positive. It, we want to put a buy in. And on this, the blue line is going up and you're seeing above the midline, green candles forming or green, green indicators. So this is a buy. And uh, so it is your choice. You can turn it in to buy at this point and just see how it goes. Or you can turn in the order down here. Let me get my corner in here. Put it in an order down here at uh, right about here. You pick, you take the pick. You can do it at the very uh, bottom of this wick or uh, where it bounced up. Or you can uh, put it right around here. It's going to hit this line here somewhere. It might or it might not. So that's your choice. Buy now or uh, sit and, if you're patient, you'll sit and watch it. If you want to move on to other things, you buy now and move on, because uh, you've made a good a good judgment as to uh, the likelihood of this going up. I mean, look at it. It says I'm going up, but it's a small time frame. So you want to look at the larger time frames, and for whatever reason, in four hours it went zooming down. And is it churning up? That's the question. When you look at the MACD, it's churning up. So you might want to sit and wait for another candle to form in the green. Green. Sometimes you can count them. Uh, if it goes to three greens, green, one, two, three, so you buy. You're not going to get too far with the buy because you bought it late in the upward turn, but you make money. So, um, you got a a green a green and we're going to wait for the next four hour to form and if it forms into a green you're 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 good to go so once again this is fyi sahara youtube join me tomorrow for our bids and then we can check to see how our one bidding idea turned out are we going to get off to that great trip we've been planning on are we going to get to do some things we wanted to do or just chillax i have a friend who says she relaxes and she chills so she chillaxes so maybe we'll have a chance to chillax instead of working so hard i love you all and i'll see you tomorrow